哈喽哈，爱你们的 Panda 君又回来喽。首先要跟大家说声抱歉，上周因为忙论文加心情不好，默默的停更了一周。本来这周也想默默的继续停更，结果都有小伙伴在微博上 at Panda 君小小，问这周会不会出七夕情人节的有关内容了？这不就是赤果果的催更吗？于是 Panda 君瞬间如芒在背。就在七夕，滚回来和大家继续约会啦！那既然今天是七夕嘛，就来说说伦敦最著名的塔桥，再推荐一个旁边超浪漫的餐厅吧。塔桥呢，绝对是伦敦最出名的景点了吧？不管爬不爬，都要和塔桥合个影。而今年热播的《花儿与少年》里面，塔桥也是一个冲突的点，相信看了的大家都会知道。塔桥里面有个蛮好玩的透明玻璃地板，可以看到下面的车流。好了，那给大家正经说一说上塔桥旅游的事儿。首先呢，坐地铁到 Tower Hill 或者 London Bridge 站出来，然后请出好伙伴手机导航，输入 Tower Bridge 吧。<笑>对了，如果你在 Tower Hill 出来的话呢，会先看到伦敦塔 Tower of London。这一座城堡里面不仅放着女王的皇冠，还是好多电影、电视剧里面出现过的常客呢。像《小黄人》还有《权力的游戏》里面都有的哦。说回塔桥，上塔桥上面的入口呢，要走到桥的中间柱子那里。成人票价九磅，学生依旧有优惠，是六磅三。四月到九月去呢，是从早上的十点开到下午五点半。而十月到三月呢，则是往前推半小时。其实塔桥上面呢，就是介绍一下历史呀什么的。但是那个玻璃地板真的很适合拍照，而且如果你在秋冬过去的话呢，一定要挑日落的时候，因为在塔桥上面看两边的景色真的超美的。一边是 The Shard 碎片大厦，一边是 Tower of London 伦敦塔。而中间的泰晤士河上面洒满了日落，再加上日落后周围房屋亮起的点点星光，配合晚霞，绝对是随手拍都有电影海报的感觉，特别浪漫。而在桥下呢，就在南岸桥墩的位置，就有一家不算出名的小餐厅，叫 The v o l t Bar。潘大军写完论文之后呢，应该会再写一篇介绍这家的文章，发到公众号 UK Panda TV 的，因为这里真的超有情调。坐在靠窗的位置，旁边就是缓缓流淌的河水和不时经过的船只，而晚上两边的高楼里面的灯光也很漂亮。而最重要的是。比起泰晤士河上面那些昂贵的游船餐厅 ，The v o t 价钱真的超亲民，就是一般餐厅的价格，两个人四十到五十磅，是不是超划算的呢？当然，七夕嘛，伦敦高大上的米其林餐厅也有很多，不过估计都被订满了，所以潘大军就下次再为大家介绍啦。好啦，那这一期呢，要和大家分享的音乐是潘岛君最近一直在哼的 k a t i 的《Forevermore》，歌词是超有童趣的爱情故事哦，来听一下。It all began. 
是不是超好听的？今天潘大军连在街上走的时候都忍不住一边走一边唱呢。而行人嘛，也没有觉得我很奇怪，毕竟在国外，张扬个性又想做就做的年轻人太多了。只是回家之后打开手机，发现唱 K 软件里面都没有这首歌，嗯，有点不爽。那最后的神秘环节嘛，既然今天说到了这么 British 的话题，就教一下大家英国上流社会的口音是怎么样的。你的英语说出这种口音，简直是装逼也装的是高级逼啊！<笑>来感受一下。So when you say a posh accent, do you mean like this? But it is also true. That no one who looked to the future over the past centuries could have imagined the strength of the bonds that are now in place between the governments and people of our two nations. That was Queen Elizabeth II speaking in an accent we would usually call posh. It's not really the way most ordinary people speak, is it? No, that's what I would call the Queen's English. Actually, Alice, it's not always cool to be posh, especially in certain jobs or social circles. Have you ever heard of mockney? Ah,、oh, mockney. That's a combination of the word mock, meaning fake, and cockney, the traditional London working person's accent. But back to the persecution of posh people. Another writer, James Dellingpole, agrees with Julian Fellows and says there's an open season where you can say anything rude about posh people. He wants posh people, or what he calls toffs, to be treated as equally as other minorities. I don't think they need、um, need feeling sorry for exactly. It's not that. I think what we want is a a slight levelling of the playing field.、Um, there are there are now hate crimes that, that can be committed against black people, against gay people, there are all sorts of protected minorities. But it seems to me that toffs are the one minority against which there's a kind of open season still. He was watching、uh, one of his favourite TV programmes, Loose Women, and one of the women said, "I hate posh blokes." And apparently, there was a cheer from the audience.、Uh, well, you, you know, as he pointed out, if somebody said, "I hate Americans," or "I hate blondes," or "I hate common blokes," there wouldn't have been that reaction. 好啦，因为潘大军最近是在水深火热的赶论文期间嘛，所以这一期的听着音乐逛伦敦就是这样的啦。而且，直到九月一号，佩纳君交论文之前，每一周的节目呢，就由原来的两期剪为一期。没有办法 ，deadline 期嘛。你看我连说话都有气无力的了，还在这里坚持更新，是不是特别感动呢？那如果感动的话呢，就快点转发加评论啦！佩纳君还会定期在评论里面抽出幸运听众，寄给你来自伦敦的明信片哟。迄今为止已经寄过三波了，之前有留过地址的小伙伴们呢，也记得要查收一下哦。好啦，就这样，快祝潘大军早日写完论文吧，<笑>白了个白。